Hello tea friends, welcome back to the Mad Hatter Tea Review. This morning I'm going to be trying a tea uh, herbal blend that I received from the Verdant August subscription box. Um, so when you order a box of Verdant teas, an explanation of the, the tea, the region, and then on the back you get a list of the teas that you'll be drinking uh, during the month of well, in this case, August. Um, so I was going to go and order and try all these teas. Uh, these are all herbal blends from the province uh, Lao Shan. Uh, Lao Shan is probably one of my favorite black teas I've ever had and green teas. Uh, the black tea typically is like a chocolatier tea. The green tea is more like sweet honey cantaloupe kind of thing. Um, the first tea for this uh, club is the Laoshan Dandelion Root. Um, I am to be expecting uh, sweet, malty, honey, uh, vanilla, nutmeg, and licorice flavors. All right, so they provided 25 grams of this tea. There's the Dandelion Root. Literally, literally looks like, you know, sticks. Smells good. It smells good. It smells kind of like chocolate, I suppose. So typically I would hold up the Gaiwan, but the Gaiwan might get too hot here. I'm going to gung fu it. I'm going to brew this in, I'm going to brew this in my gaiwan and dip into a pitcher and from the pitcher put it into a cup. I'm going to start here with about 10-15 seconds. It's more nuttier on the nose. This sort of reminds me of like um, there's a can, like, Chico Sticks or Butterfingers. It's like a peanut butter, peanut, sweet honey peanut. Kind of like a roasted peanut. There's the color of the liqueur. So while I sip on this, I'm going to pour more water into the guy Wan here. Definitely taste that vanilla. That nutmeg flavor kind of lingers, but the initial flavor I'm getting is vanilla. At this point, I'm just stacking. Again, while this is going to be sipped, I'm just gonna throw some more water into the guy Juan here. I know I'm supposed to expect vanilla, which I have, not make, which I have, but licorice, I'm not really getting that. It is kind of candy sweet though, which is weird for not having any additives to it. That's one thing that still amazes me about tea, is sometimes tea is naturally sweet and you don't need sugar, you don't need anything. And that's why I never really go into a new tea or any tea at all because I want to try a tea on its own. And typically I like stronger flavors in my tea. And I don't want to kind of damper those flavors with milk or cream or sugar. It's a consistent color, uh, light yellowish. So on the third or fourth, third or fourth um, infusion, mixing it and making it, steeping it longer and having this tea, um, kind of develop. There is more of a maltiness to it. It's kind of like a peanut vanilla bean vibe going on with it. It's very nice. There's the dandelion root. Kind of mouth drying. It's kind of like right here on the mouth, very dry and at the front of the tongue, like behind the front teeth, on the tip of the tongue and around the inside of the mouth. So 
again, here's the color. As I'm gung foaming this and brewing it in the Gaiwan, I realized that this is not a type of tea that is, I mean, it's good for gung fuming, but it's starting to get weak in flavor and I'm on like five or six infusions. So I'm guessing the best practice for this, if you want a short session, would be great to make in a Gaiwan, but if you want a longer session, I'd probably suggest maybe infusing this uh, Western style for maybe like three to five minutes. I, I would say maybe even longer. Um, it's a really interesting experience, um, but flavor-wise and the experience as a whole, I would give this eight and a half tea bags out of 10 tea bags. That's all I have for now. Feel free to drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and as always, happy simian. Cheers.